paint function we have another uh, a number of other functions I want to go through it one by one let's start from here I can of course open other files snapshots are possible a snapshot is actually a screenshot of that particular window and we can use those snapshots to add it to our reports we can get it printed as well we can also get the snapshot printed directly to Word so that we have a Word file we can, where we can add some other uh, data needed under view I can view some data about the instrument settings all the parameters of the instrument for that particular scan I can view all the probe data so the wedge and the probe which has been used number of elements angle and so on and so on there's another function which is called gain per angle correction now this is something um, important to understand for every particular beam of the sector scan we of course have a different incidence angle and this incidence angle also um, refers to a different delay line in the wedge that means depending on the length of this delay line depending on the incidence angle we have a different loss of energy of sound energy and there has to be a compensation for that in order to be uh, more accurate so if someone uses a probe the first time he has to do once this kind of calibration to compensate for the loss of energy the gain difference over the incidence angle so once this is stored it just gets recalled later on for all the following inspections in this case now I have the probe over here on the right side maybe in reality I have it on the left side also I want to switch uh, flip the, the sides that's easy to do just clicking and it flips to the other side paint was already explained uh, edit we can do some filtering actually it means I can modify the range of colors to do some filtering I can mark a certain area like this one where I now have all the measurement data available for example the A scan so this is good for making a, maybe a snapshot or something like that I can normalize to DAC you now we see DAC curves are shown on the A scan they are not activated yet only if I normalize to DAC it's activated and have a look at the the uh, indications here, the flaws if I activate it, it is changing here so now the deck is active I can do measurements for example width measurements, the width of the flaw shown over here there's a line, a green line and a red line X G stands for green, XR for red, and the difference is 2.2 millimeters, the distance between those lines. Similarly, I can do that with the thickness, do some thickness measurements. Also, here, thickness measurement is shown over here green line, red line, and the difference again 
measurement mode can either be flank or top top means peak and in this case we are using flank evaluation I want to switch those measurement values off and just to show you a bit more on coloring I can use different color scales color schemes and even customize certain color schemes I can open one which has been created before and stored and then I apply it and it's shown over here and let's go back to the initial one I can also zoom certain um, on the, the whole scan like zoom by two or by three to get a much better idea about the, the uh, size of the floor or the look of the floor Um, as I already mentioned, we have um, stored the raw data. So we are always using the raw data to reproduce this picture. And in fact, uh, that also means that we can change the gain settings later on in this post processing software. And I'm doing this now, just reducing the gain let me do that in smaller steps and one can see how the results are changing because I just you know do some filtering putting the gain down in this case so one can afterwards do some evaluation same can be done with changing uh, the position of the, the gate and so on so that's all possible alright I think that's about it uh, in case uh, we have any question do not hesitate to contact us on the www.united-ndt.com and you might also want to download our free software to do some evaluations in case you want to use a data set I can provide this to you just let me know and we can send it over meanwhile thanks a lot for your attention and hope to see you soon again on our uh, video webcasting thank you